Good morning. Welcome to Lake Elsinore. I'm Mayor Brian Tizell. I'm at our historic downtown Riverwalk. Lake Elsinore is a great place to live, work, and play. We have an excellent quality of life, we have extreme business opportunities, and we have more recreational activities than any place I know. I know why I chose to live in Lake Elsinore, but let's hear what other people have to say. Lake Elsinore hosts a number of wonderful parks for our residents to enjoy. We have behind me the brand new park here at Canyon Hills, a wonderful addition to the many parks we have in our city. This park actually is the second one to have a dog park for our pet lovers in the city. It also has a water park, the first one in Lake Elsinore. This park is many years in, in the making. I believe we've been building in this community for nearly two decades. You know, I can tell you even in what's become a very difficult economy for a lot of people, this place feels like home and it feels like a community. On behalf of the California State Legislature, uh, I just want to extend my appreciation for those who had the vision at the city of Lake Elsinore and at Party to actually build a very beautiful community. Thank you very much. Now we're at the stage that we're moving forward and through the diligence, I think, of the council and our staff, we watch the money, the budget. We're very frugal. And so today we're glad that we have this for capital improvements. It's nice to see movement really in the right direction for the kids. We're really excited about our school district. Uh, we are the third leading school district in Riverside County uh, with student achievement that's been growing by leaps and bounds over the last five years. Our parents can be happy and proud that their students attend school in Lake Elsinore and that they'll be well prepared for whatever future endeavors they choose to attain. The City of Lake Elsinore Fire Department proudly serves and protects the citizens of the City of Lake Elsinore. We have three stations and we are currently working on opening our fourth station in Rosetta Canyon. As the Fire Chief here for the City of Lake Elsinore, we want to ensure that the highest quality of life is preserved and I am very fortunate and proud to serve the City of Lake Elsinore. As your Chief of Police, I am just honored to serve the residents of the City of Lake Elsinore. We here provide law enforcement services, we're out protecting our community, we're involved in the community to make sure that all the residents have the quality of life that each and every person deserves. Lake Elsinore is a great place to do business with its central location in Southern California. Here are some of our competitive advantages. A hub zone, a brine line, no utility tax, a fast track program, a fiber optics network, a foreign trade subzone, and a partnership with Riverside County Office of Foreign Trade and some great sales and lease prices on commercial, industrial, and retail properties. Tulips, Trophies, and Treasures is a flower shop, a trophy shop, and it's also a gift shop. The city was so kind and so amazing to help me find a location and they said, why don't you check out Main Street? Hi, I'm Chris Bolster, uh, co-owner of Juice It Up. This is my partner, Tony Kelly, and we purchased the store back in de uh, December of 2011. And uh, we were able to take that store from number 19 when we took it over in December up to number one within a short four months. Um, the community in Lake Elsinore has been very supportive of us and we like to give back to the community as much as we possibly can. And we currently live, work and play in the city of Lake Elsinore. The four of us are uh, equal partners here at the Craft Brewing Company and um, have been operating for about two and a half years. We uh, broke ground in October of 2009 and opened for business in April of 2010. Currently we're in the process of expanding one more time. The reason we decided to open up in Lake Elsinore is it was pretty inviting business-wise for us. The building space that we got was at a great price point. The city's been very supportive. The expansions have gone great. You know, it's, it's worked out very well for us. My name is Joshua Smith. I'm the Director of Marketing at JS Technologies Sear Guitars. At JS Technologies, we design, manufacture musical instruments for our Sear brand of guitars amplifiers, pedals, and accessories. Something that's really been great about Lake Elsinore and how uh, we function here as a company has been the migration from a small building to a lot bigger building. And that growth and being in this city was just so easy for us. One of the greatest assets of our company 
is our people. And six years ago, we had 20 people. Now we have 60 and we're growing every year. Hello, I'm Mike Murphy. This is Liz Murphy. Hi. And we're the owners of Aggregate Crusher Specialists. It is a unique company. We uh, sell rock crushers. Uh, we moved here to Lake Elsinore to this facility in 2009. This facility will allow us to grow and stay here for years to come. Working with the city of Lake Elsinore was exceptional. We found a location that fit us perfectly and the city welcomed us with open arms. So it's been a great move for us. Welcome to Extreme Opportunity Lake Elsinore. The city is constantly working to improve the quality of life for our residents. Let's hear about some of those projects from our city staff. Earlier this spring, uh, the city of Lake Elsinore stocked over 7,000 largemouth bass. Uh, the stocking of sport fish is an ecological approach to improving water quality. Few people know that water quality often depends on the structure of your fishery. The new boat launch facility at the La Laguna Resort is anticipated to provide four major benefits, including economic development, uh, public safety, public access, and increased amenities and services for our citizens. We have a lot of exciting projects going in the city of Lake Elsinore. We just completed the paving of Sumner and Heald. We have a paving project on Main Street starting in a couple of months. It's built into two phases. The first phase will go from essentially Lake Point Park to the Cultural Center, and then phase two will go from the Cultural Center to the freeway. We also replaced the street lights on Main Street with LED lights. Not only does it beautify the downtown area in the evenings, but it also is energy efficient. And here's Warren from our planning division. Thank you, Ken. One of the things that's very exciting in this year's budget is city monumentation signs. So the planning division is working on designing a plan that will allow for monumentation at the freeway entries. So if you come off of Main Street, Central Avenue, Nichols Road, you'll see these nice monumentation signs. In addition to that, we have uh, city wayfinding signs. And those are the signs you typically see on roads where they have uh, library this way, city hall this way. And, and where's the stadium? And where's the stadium? Good job. And it'll actually help you find other destinations in the city like the motocross, skydive Elsinore, the boat launch, and Ken will finally be able to find his way to work. I love my job. We're emphasizing the concept of extreme customer service. We've taken advantage of as many of uh, the social media as possible, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we use uh, Bit America. We have a new smartphone app that allows individuals to identify graffiti potholes, other issues in the city. We've modified our website so that um, developers or others interested in property can access our GIS system and readily identify information that they would otherwise have to call for. If we're extremely easy to do business with, provide extreme customer service, then businesses and individuals are going to choose to be in Lake Elsinore rather than go to some other community down the road. This city is a place that I know I can I can ask for something even if it's not the easiest thing to do and it won't be, oh, we can't do that. It's going to be, well, how can we help you figure out what you need to do? Lake Elsinore has a reputation for extreme sports and extreme athletes. In the 60s and 70s, Steve McQueen and Malcolm Smith raced through our valley in the Elsinore Grand Prix, made famous by the movie On Any Sunday. In the mid-90s and through the present day, we have revived the historic Lake Elsinore Grand Prix. Today, we attract nearly a thousand riders and over 30,000 spectators to this annual event. Uh, Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series uh, mixes motocross with uh, cars. Basically, we have off-road trucks. It's high-flying, it's fast, it's extreme. Uh, there's a lot of contact. And uh, once you see it, you come out and experience it, I know you'll come back. Well, clearly, if you're going to come to Lake Elsinore, you got to go bass fishing. There's really nowhere else in Southern California, and hardly in the whole state of California, that's like this beautiful natural lake. Greetings, everybody. I'm Councilman Pete Weber for the City of Lake Elsinore, and right now I'm standing at uh, the edge of a very large project that the city's invested in, time, money, and dollars. Uh, approximately $8 million is being invested in perhaps one of the best boat launches, I think, in California. This really provides their kind of access to thousands of people from the local area and from throughout Southern California and the world. 
The lynx at Summerlee is a little unique to Southern California due to the um, style. It is basically a lynx style golf course. There's, uh, there's not too many of them in Southern California. Basically a lynx is, the correct definition is near a large body of water, which is obviously our, our beautiful lake here. And um, you know the rolling hills, no trees, and uh, the golfers enjoy it. And when people first think about activities or things to do in Lake Elsinore, the first thing they think of is skydiving, because uh, this is one of the most popular places to go skydiving. Because we have year-round great weather uh, and great facilities here, and a great, great support from the city of Lake Elsinore. Yeah, the Diamond in Lake Elsinore is one of the finest minor league facilities in all of baseball, and. It's always a great place to come out and catch a game, see the future Padres, and enjoy your family and friends. And the Diamond's one of the places you need to check out when you come out to Lake Elsinore. Lake Elsinore is the birthplace of family-friendly extreme sports. That's who we are, and that's what we do. So there it is, folks. Lake Elsinore is a great place to live, to work, and to play. What more can I say?